Welcome to SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. Uh, as some people might have noticed, we are uh, starting WNBA coverage with a regular guest here, uh, Anthony from SweetJones55.com. And this guy covers, specializes in NBA and WNBA. And if there's one thing this guy does is homework. This guy does thorough, thorough previews of WNBA games, NBA games, summer league games. Anthony from SweetJones55.com. Thanks for being back with us. Hey, Peter. Sure. Thanks for having me again. All right. So the game we're going to talk about today is Connecticut at Atlanta. WNBA Atlanta is a nine and a half point home favorite total 151 and a half down a bit from 153 and a half. And this is a game that you say that you have a, a, a lean on that you really like here. It's pretty interesting. It's a big line. So I'm wondering what it's going to be. Atlanta is seven and zero against the spread at home on the year. Connecticut one and six against the spread on the road on the year. Uh, so I'm assuming just based on that, I'm guessing you're going to say Atlanta. You know, Atlanta's coming off of a four game road trip. They lost all four of those games before that. They were 10 and one. They lost three of those games against the spread. I'm guessing you're going to say Atlanta minus nine and a half. <laughs> nope. Um, no. I'm actually not playing the game. Okay. Um, I released a play on the total, which is why that line got moving down. I released mm -hmm. it at 153 and a half, yeah. and it went all the way down to, I, I think, even 150 some places, but I think it settled at around 151, um, 151 and a half. If, if I had to say if I had a lean on a team, it, it would definitely be Atlanta, but um, for the reasons I took the under, there's a few reasons that I kind of don't like uh, Atlanta a ton with that big mm -hmm. spread. And um, the main reason I like this total is due to injuries and current form of these two teams. Mm -hmm. I don't think these four losses um, that Atlanta took were, um, were just uh, randomness. Mm -hmm. I think that there's something to these losses. And if you look deep into it, you see that they lost Sancho Little and they lost Tiffany Hayes. Those right. were the first four games without those two girls. And all of a sudden, they lost four straight. So I don't think that's a coincidence. Those girls averaged 25 points per game combined. That's 32% of their offense gone. And I, I said uh, we talked about a little bit last time I was on here that when the team has an injury, it's very rare for a girl to come in off the bench and replicate the, 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 the numbers that the starter does right. because there's just not much depth uh, or talent in, the, in this league to, to be able to do that. And also, Angel McCautry, she recently, that's their leading scorer. Mm -hmm. She averages over 20 points per game. Um, she's one of the best players in the league. She strained her Achilles mm -hmm. um, three games ago, and she was questionable to play. I think she's just playing because the team has all these injuries, so she's like kind of forcing herself, forcing herself in there. I think she mm -hmm. could use the rest, but uh, since she tried to play through the Achilles injury, it hasn't been good. She shot, you know, seventeen for forty-eight um, ever since she had that Achilles injury, which is thirty-five percent. That's very bad. So they got little already out. The Hayes girl is also out, and now McCautry's hurt. So her scoring and efficiency has gone down. And then also this, um, their fourth leading scorer, whose uh, name is Jasmine Thomas, she left two games ago from a game. She only played nine minutes. She doesn't show up on the injury reports if you look around online, but she's a good scorer for that, for, for that team. And ever since she came back uh, these last um, couple of games, she shot five for 25 from the field. So there's a lot. Um, their team is just uh, kind of just all over the place right now with the injuries and um, they're only averaging 68 points per game in their last four games, and they averaged 77 for the season. So there's, a, there's been a, a big drop-off due to all these injuries, which is what you kind of come to expect. Um, with Connecticut, they also have an injury to their starting point guard, Kara Lawson. She's missed five of the last eight games. She didn't play last game. And point guard in this league is, is, is a very uh, important position. Most, most people think it's the most important, and she accounts for 31% of their offense. And they're already the worst, one of the worst offenses in the league as it is. They only average 66 points per game on the road. And with her out, it, you know, it obviously doesn't help. Um, their last five games overall, they've only scored 52, 58, 70, 66. They did have one game where they scored 86, but that was against the worst defense in the league, San Antonio. So I don't really think you can take much out of that. But even including that huge output they had, they're still only averaging 66 points per game the, the, the last five games. So... Just I've already I already mentioned that Atlanta sc scored 68 the last four and they're scoring 66. You know you add that up that's only 134 points total. These teams have been averaging on offense uh, as of late. And uh, Connecticut also has had a lot, a lot of injuries throughout the year. They t recently got back two girls, Rennie Montgomery and Tan White, but they've been horrible since they came back. Five mm -hmm. five for 27 from the field, shooting under 20 percent. And uh, Tina Charles, the best uh, Connecticut player, she's been struggling all year. She's doing, shooting 39% from the field. 
for the year and only 34% in her uh, last three games. But Connecticut really has nobody offensively that's that's all that great. They don't have one starter who shoots over uh, 42%. So, um, yeah, I'm just not seeing a lot of whole points. Uh, I'm not seeing a lot of points scored from these from these teams. Um, as of late, there's a trend going that Connecticut has gone under four straight halves. Mm-hmm. So in the last two games, they haven't gone over first half or second half uh, in either. And Atlanta's been even worse, under six straight halves ever since all these girls uh, were hurt. They've now gone under uh, six straight halves. Obviously, all those games went under as well. And I talked about how the lack of offense with the defense is, is still there for both teams. Atlanta's got the best uh, home defense in the league, giving up only 67 points per game at home. I don't think some of these injuries to their players is g- going to affect their defense a little bit, but I still think overall they're pretty good defensively. And I think Atlanta's defense, like you mentioned, they've lost four games in a row. If, if any, the one thing you can be guaranteed of is that they're going to give max, max effort, which usually, right. you know, translate, translates the most on defense. You, you can give max effort and the shots may still not fall, but max effort usually shows up uh, big time on defense. And uh, Connecticut's defense is not so bad. They're the third best on the road. They're only giving up uh, 74 points per game. So I don't think Atlanta's going to throw up a, a huge number. I see it like, kind of like a final score of Atlanta 78. And uh, Connecticut probably right around uh, 68. All right, that sounds great. I know Connecticut is 1-5-1 and one over under on the road this year, and their only over was the first road game of the year, which went over by just two. Um, yeah, but uh, but their last game, though, was a, was a sort of, a, and we talked about this uh, you know, off camera, it was kind of a bad situation for Connecticut. You were expecting a, a very bad um, offense performance from them in that game because of the travel situation and everything. You don't think right. they might uh, bounce back here with sort of a better scheduling spot? Well, last game they only scored. Uh, it was in the it was in the fifties. But but even the game before that, Connecticut wasn't in a horrible spot right. before that game on the back to back, and they, they didn't score sixty again. So no, I, I really don't think that uh, playing against some better defenses, even with a little bit more rest, is gonna is gonna help them uh, a whole lot. All right, Anthony from SweetJones55.com. Thanks so much for this great preview.